Hello and welcome to Hosted FTP Tutorials. Today's tutorial is going to cover three advanced FileZilla tips and tricks you need to know. Today we're going to show you how to import and export, edit using FileZilla's interface, and logging all of your transfers. Let's begin. Importing and exporting is a simple and fast way to get anyone, like a coworker or employee, to connect to your server without them needing to understand how to use FileZilla or know your service credentials. Let's say you're the admin on the account and you want multiple coworkers to connect to your server as easily as possible. First, use the site manager to log in as the account you want to share. Now, go to File, Export, and this is going to create an XML file that you can send to a recipient. I'm going to delete my site connections. And now, if someone were to import the XML file we just created, it will populate the site manager with all the site connections we exported. Now they can log in without needing to know the account credentials. FileZilla also allows you to make quick changes to files directly inside your server. Right click the file you want to edit and select view forward slash edit. This will download a temporary copy to your local site. If you're opening a simple file such as a text, HTML, or CSV document, FileZilla will recognize the appropriate program and automatically open. If FileZilla does not know what program is associated with the file type, FileZilla will prompt you if you want to use a custom program. Use the browse button to find the appropriate program. Once you make your changes, Save and close the program. FileZilla will ask you if you want to upload the new updated file into your server to finalize your changes. At this time, you can also delete the temporary copy on your local site by checking the box then clicking yes. If you want a detailed list of every action conducted during your connection, you can configure FileZilla settings to create a separate document for your logs. Go to the edit tab and select settings. The settings window will open and scroll down until you find logging. Select show timestamps and message log if you want the time of every instance and select log to file to create a paper trail for your records. Name the file, click browse and choose where you want the file to appear. Choose the file size limit and press OK once you're done. Now, if you ever want to see what transfers were made and when, you can visit this file to find exactly what you're looking for. If this video was helpful, give us a like to let us know what kind of content we should continue to make and let us know what FTP client you want us to cover next. Check out www.hostedftp.com for all your FTP needs or email us at support at hostedftp.com for your business inquiries. Thank you so much for watching and on behalf of everyone here at Hosted FTP, we want to thank you for choosing us as your service provider.